Brooklyn. 
we welcome you to Ridgeline High School. We would I'd like to thank our sponsors making this possible. You got the uh, Lady Bears coming into this one with a record of 2 and 10. And the RPI standings. I take a look at Ridgeline, they lead the way. A record of 12 and 5. The Lady Bears coming into this one ranked 11th. Logan all the way down to the bottom, but everybody else is in the top eight. You got Skyview at eight, Mountain Crest at five, Green Canyon at three. And we are joined with Amy Gibson, no surprise, yet again. One of the most competitive regions. Right, yeah, in every sport. Um, but again, with the RPI system, I, that's great preparation for state, so. Let's take it. Plus, I think Bear versus Sleeping Giant. I don't think we've seen our best game from them yet. And if we're going to peak, let's do it a little closer to state. So, all good things. So, Bear River's going to start, um, as in case you didn't hear the earlier announcement, Kate Daly, Carly Christensen, Brianna Curtis, Carly Daly. Miller, Brindley Daly. Noble, and our two setters, Oakley Rose and Sadie Adams, I'm sure will be in and out as well as our libero. She is young, but oh so good. Number 10, Maddie Bird. Ridgeline's gonna start with the serve. Sadie will push it over to Brinley as she gets it just up and over the defense. So Bears are first to score. That serve came from number three, Nia Demini. And this is number 10, Maddie Bird, starting off the Bears. A nice set to the middle with Richland. So they answer back quickly. That was number 35, Ellie Holland, with the nice hit. Gracie Putnam service. And that brings in number 10, Gracie Putnam. Senior for Ridgeline. A short serve, but the Bears get it up. And a back row attempt by Kate Daly is too short. And Ridgeline pulls ahead. And once again, Ridgeline earns that point. Putnam still serving. Sadie again goes back. Bird with the hit over. Richline goes outside to number 19. That is Brooklyn. And you can see why Richline is ranked number one. Brooklyn Bishop. Nice hit from Bear River. Brindley Noble's able to push it in between the blockers and the net. That will bring Sadie Adams back to serve. Number 22, sophomore setter. No touch there. Up and over the blocker and out of bounds by number 35, Ellie Holland. Again, Adams with the serve. And Brooklyn watching the line very closely. Can tell that's going to go out of bounds. Let's it go. Which line with their libero serving. Sadie goes back again to Noble as she goes up and over the defense and out of bounds. Ridgeline's the barrel again with the sir. And with the point. This is number five, Libby Davies. Another short serve. Bear ever having a little trouble with it? And again, another point for the Riverhawks.
Davies again with the serve. Bear was able to get that one up, and they say no, hit the floor. Davies with the point. The whistle was a little slow, so it looked pretty good. I think that could have went either way. Bears trailing 10 to 3. And Bever again struggling with a little serve receive. Timeout, Bear Bears have got a time now. They trail on this one, 11 to 3 in set number one. We'll take one with them and be right back. Need something for your sweet tooth? Stop by the grill for one of their tasty desserts. Pick one of their delicious cakes or ice cream today. Let Academy Mortgage help you get into the home of your dreams. Give them a call today. The Pie Dump is a big supporter of your Bear River Bears and loves to see students come into their shop. They even have a menu just for them. So swing on in before school or during lunch and enjoy the deliciousness they have to offer. After that timeout, number five, Libby Davies, again with the serve for Ridgeline. Bearver sends it back on a free ball. Good hit by Ridgeline. Another free ball sent over by Bear River. And another good hit in the middle for Ridgeline. That goes off Bearver blockers and out of bounds. And I believe that was number 19, Brooklyn Bishop. Bears go outside to Carly Miller and it goes long. So 13-3, Davies still serving for the Riverhawks. Off the Bears' arms and out of bounds. Bears struggling a little bit with serve received today. 14-3, Bears trailing. And Davies, a little too much float on that one, goes long. And the Springs number 17, Brindley Noble back to serve. Brindley's a senior from Bearver, outside hitter. Good pass by Ridgeline. They again go back door with a tip. And I believe that was number 22, Ava Wilcox. Wilcox service. And Ava will come back to serve River Hawks with a large lead. Kate Daly with a hit off the net, and it goes into the net. Wilcox again with the serve. Back row hit by Noble. And it goes down. Seventeen four, Riverhawks with the lead. Sends a free bar ball over. Little traffic right there. Good hit by number 19, Brooklyn Bishop. And Bears can answer back. And a timeout called by Bear River. Let's see if they can clean some stuff up and finish this first set out strong. They trail 18 to 4. We'll be right back.
Lincoln Financial specializes in estate, investment, and retirement planning, as well as business benefits. At Lincoln, they are totally impartial, comb through different options to create financial products a person needs. Lincoln Financial, Big City. Number 22, Ava Wilcox with the serve. Out to Dally, she tries to shoot it to the back corner. Demuni goes to the middle. And number 40, Mira Smolan is able to find an empty spot just right on the edge there. So well played by Richland. And Wilcox a little strong on that one. Nineteen five. Carly Christensen checking into the game. Next we have Christensen, Dally, and Miller front row. Brianna Curtis back to serve. Tight to the net, and Demuni just puts it over. Noble has a great reflex there, gets it up, but Bears aren't able to get it back over. I think we've seen Demuni play since she was the freshman. So yeah. Looking great out there. A short serve by Ridgeline. Bears aren't able to get it up. Serve comes from number 30. That is Gracie Cole. Short set to Christensen. She's not able to get that over. 22-5. Bears going to make a little substitution. Oakley Rose checking in for Sadie Adams. Noble with the pass. Out to Christensen. Demuni outside. And she sets it number 10. Gracie Putnam as she puts it right down. Gracie Cole still serving for Ridgeline. Back row hit by Noble. Demuni again goes to the middle. Great blocking job by the Bears. This one too off the blockers. Rose goes again out to Dally and she goes deep. So 24-5 game point for the Ridgeline Riverhawks. Rose goes out to Miller. She makes an adjustment, gets a nice hit. Demuni also goes outside to Putnam. Bears get it up and sends a free ball over. Great blocking by the Bears. And a double hand call on Ridgeline. Yeah, Brindley Cross. It's still getting points. Actually, I want to look for Mira Smolin. She kind of snuck around to the right side right there. Bears able to read that. Demuni again goes out to Putnam. Off the blockers. Dally serves it over to Noble with the back row hit. Demuni at the net. And she can jump. Dunks it yes. over the net. Yeah. Great high. Just puts that right down. Uh, you know, it's great if you can get it to the 10-foot line. She was so on top of it. That was like the three-foot line. And Riverhawks take that game. I think it's seeing our replay again. Demuni, look at the hang time. Puts it down in the gap as the Riverhawks make quick work of set number one. We'll be back for set number two when we come back.
Whether you're buying or selling, let the dedicated professionals at Caldwell Banker help you save time and money. For all your project needs, shop at Greer's Hardware, happily serving the community since 1976. Whether it's drinks or treats, get your fix at Soda Fix. For all your embroidery and screen printing needs, whether for business or just for fun, stop by Cover Up in Tremont or Brigham. At Cover Up, yeah, we can do that. Are you ready for a career that will deliver on the things you enjoy? Come see what Intertape Polymer Group has to offer. Pay of up to $25 an hour, additional sign-on bonus, comfortable work environment, tuition reimbursement, excellent benefits, and vacation from day one. Be part of a company that is growing every year with new products and new opportunities for you. Intertape Polymer Group. Want to work for a great company? Then check out West Liberty Foods in Tremont. They are currently hiring with open positions in the warehouse, machine operators, and general production. Pay is $15.85 entry level on first shift and $17.35 entry level on second shift. Higher rates are available for warehouse and machine operators. Apply today. Welcome back here to Ridgeline High School. It's the region opener for both of these teams and Ridgeline taking set number one. Bears starting again with the same lineup. We have Christensen, Adams, and Dowley front row. Noble, Bird, and Miller on the back. Start the serve here in set number two. Again, we'd like to thank you for joining us and our sponsors for making this possible. It's also homecoming week. It is. How exciting. Turf week. Turf week, exactly. Miller with a good serve. Rich Lyons sends it back over outside to Dally. She's able to get on top of that. Ridgeline goes outside to number 19, Brooklyn Bishop with a tip. Take Kate Daly hits it. Goes Lady, long. Lady Bears wanted a touch, not Lady gonna get it. So Ridgeline first to score. Davies starts off where the Ridgeline left off. Double hit. Double hit on the Bear River side, sends it back over to Ridgeline. Again, number five, Davies. Bird with the pass. Adams out to Dally. She tips it. Bishop tips it back as well. Back row hit by Noble and a little too much angle. Trying to hit the line, goes just past it. Three zero, Riverhawks with the lead. Adam goes out to Dally. Demuni sends it back, back row hit. Back row hit also by Bear River. And free ball sent over. Bears with a great pass, trying to set something up. And again, Kate tries to go down the line and goes a little too far, out of bounds. Davies with her fifth serve in a row. 
Noble with the hit. Outside to Bishop. Oh, they keep it alive. Yeah, a little back and forth. I was kind of waiting to see, and it worked out great for Bear River. Still alive. Oh, great idea by Kate. Again, goes just a little bit too long and out of bounds. So a nice block by Ridgeline. Uh, Bears pick it up, keep it alive, sends it back and forth. Longest ultimately, rally in the yes. Match. Ultimately, Ridgeline ends up with that point and this one as well. Betty Bears yet to see a score here in set number two. Yeah, six straight points. Those are tough off the net. Oh, and a miscommunication. Dang. Looks like Bird was ready to hit it and got called off, and then it just didn't happen. Another short one. Bears send it over and out of bounds. That's been the story here in this one. Yes, a lot of these I think are self-inflicted. 8-0. Another short serve. Bird steps up. Bears send a free ball over. Demuni goes to the right side. Great job by Adams. Again out to Bishop. So Blocker's doing a good job slowing it down. That just goes off them and to the left and uh, just hits in bear territory. Journey Kapner's checking in. She is number two. Sophomore for Bear River. And again, Davies back with the serve. The judge is going to talk. Not sure what about? I don't know. She kept motioning to her stomach. I don't, I'm not sure what. I haven't seen that before. And out of the scores table. Which line got a point for that. And that was long enough to put Davies on ice and she goes long. Uh, they gave the point to the wrong side. There we go. All right, Kate Daly checks back in to serve. Free ball sent over by Ridgeline. Good pass by Bird. Adams goes out to Noble. Good hit. Demuni goes out to Bishop. Off the blockers and out of bounds. That's a tricky one because you, you know, normally when you follow it out of bounds, you let it go. But this came off the blocker, so Bear really needed to try and, and play that ball. Springs number 22, Ava Wilcox with the serve. Adams just sends it over. Demuni goes to the middle. Ooh, and, and that's number four, and there's a small one. She gets on top of it, and that's a beautiful thing. Well played. Avery Cazell checking in for Carly Miller. Bears trying to stir some things up out there. Adams goes back to Christensen. Again, Bears, or excuse me, River Hawks go to the middle to Mira Smolin, and she does a great job getting on top of that. She finds the corner. 13-1, Ava Wilcox still serving. And she goes deep. Number 13, Malin Ewer checking in. 
for the River Hawks. Good serve by Bird. Again, out to Bishop. Off, off the blockers. Bears trying to get under it. Good coverage. Number 30, Gracie Cole. Ready to serve for Ridgeline. Free ball sent over by the Bears. Up to Demuni. She goes back again to Mira. And she is feeling it. I like the little swing to the right there. I, I think that's a nice move. I've seen Curtis make it a few times. Usually quite effective. 15 do bear restrayal. Great ace serve by Cole. Another short serve by Ridgeline. Noble off the blockers. Ridgeline keeps it alive. And Putnam takes that sharp angle and able to get it inbounds. So Ridgeline doing a great job of putting it in spots where Bearver is not. Gracie Putnam also a senior. Adams goes back to Dally. Putnam goes outside again to Putnam. Bears with a good dig. Tip from Noble. Putnam sends it over, or excuse me, Dabuni sends it back over. Another great hit by Noble nice off the blockers. Play. Yeah, and Ridgeline's not able to keep it up and go on. So great play by Bearver right there. Carly Miller checking back in for front row. Sadie Adams back to serve. 17 to three, Bearver's have a lot of ground to make up. And goes out of bounds. This will get Mara off the front row. So number 40, Mara Smolen, excuse me, with a serve. Free ball sent over. Keeping it alive. As is Ridgeline, great net play by Miller. I love to see her at the net. She can track a ball, and she's so tall. Um, you could tell. You could tell she knew right where it was going and what to do. So well, well played by Miller on that. Really noble goes back to serve for Bear River. Dominey going to the outside to Putnam. She finds a way in between the blockers off Curtis and on to Bear River Floor territory. This will bring number three, Nia DeMooney, back to serve. And Bear's struggling with serve received today. Twenty to four. Rich line with a commanding lead. And timeout called. Timeout by River. Rose North Thumb and set number two. It's twenty one to four for the River Hawks. So we'll be right back. The Pie Group sells more than just hot rolls and donuts. They offer a full breakfast and lunch menu Monday through Friday from six AM to two PM. Breakfast is also served on Saturdays from 7 until noon. Try some deliciousness today. Lincoln Financial specializes in estate, investment, and retirement planning, as well as business benefits. At Lincoln, they are totally impartial, comb through different options to create financial products a person needs. Lincoln Financial, big city service, small town care. Let Academy Mortgage help you get into the home of your dreams. Give them a call today. For all your project needs, shop at Greer's Hardware. Happily serving the community since 1976. 
At the back of the ridge line, high school to have the lead, 21 to four in set number two, Denuni with the serve. Adams again going outside to Dowley and it goes long. Bears not, seem to, not seeming to quite get on top of the ball as I've seen him in past games. And Demuni goes long on her serve. 22-5, Christensen checks back in. Christensen, Dally, Miller on the front row. Brianna Curtis back to serve. Senior for Bear River, middle blocker. Good pass by Ridgeline. Putnam with just a little tip over. And widens the gap. That brings Putnam back to serve. Brooklyn Bishop checking back in for the front row. Adams dumps it over. Ridgeline with a little heads up, barely clears the net. We send it back to Ridgeline, and Bishop gets a hold of it. Bearver tries to dig that, and it goes out of bounds. This is game point, 24-5. Ridgeline with the serve. Putnam goes short again. Miller, free ball sent over. To Mooney, a little fake in the middle. And good read by Brooklyn Bishop. That goes straight down off a of hit from Carly Miller. And that will end game number two, 25-5. So the end of set number one was 25-6. Now 25-5 as we take another look. At the end of set number two, off the block. Lady Bears, Juba die now. We'll go to set number three when we come back. homemade appetizers. Can't decide what to get? Then build an appetizer combo. No matter what you're craving, the grill has you covered. Kent's is your one-stop shop for fresh produce, bakery items, deli, and meat. Stop by today for fast, friendly service. Are you ready for a career that will deliver on the things you enjoy? Come see what Intertape Polymer Group has to offer. Pay of up to $25 an hour, additional sign-on bonus, comfortable work environment, tuition reimbursement, excellent benefits, and vacation from day one. Be part of a company that is growing every year with new products and new opportunities for you. Intertape Polymer Group. Andy Marchant Photography specializes in portraits, family pictures, bridals, and engagements. He also takes thousands of photos of Bear River Sports, allowing you to sit back and enjoy the game while he captures all the action. Check out his website, andymarchant.com, or follow him on Instagram. Let him help you preserve your memories at a great price. Whether it's drinks or treats, get your fix at Soda Fix. For all your embroidery and screen printing needs, whether for business or just for fun, stop by Cover Up in Tremont or Brigham. At Cover Up, yeah, we can do that. Want to work for a great company? Then check out West Liberty Foods in Tremont. They are currently hiring with open positions in the warehouse, machine operators, and general production. Pay is $15.85 entry level on first shift and $17.35 entry level on second shift. Higher rates are available for warehouse and machine operators. Apply today. 
Tanglewood Studios has something for everyone, whether it's dance, cheer, color guard, or gymnastics. There's even recreational all-boys gymnastics along with Mama Me classes. Enjoy co-ed hip-hop, classical ballet, point, contemporary, jazz, along with karate and parkour. Tanglewood is a USAG licensed gym offering bars, beam, vault, and a spring floor. Mom and Me and toddler classes are offered in music, dance, and gymnastics. Tanglewood Tots Preschool includes dance, gymnastics, music, and live sports. Singing classes, guitar, and musical theater are also offered. Family rates are available, so come join the fun. Whether you're buying or selling, let the dedicated professionals at Caldwell Banker help you save time and money. For all your project needs, shop at Greer's Hardware. Be sure to check out the wide variety of Milwaukee tools at Greer's. They'll make the perfect addition for your next project. Greer's Hardware, happily serving the community since 1976. Check out the Valley Headliner for stories and updates on your favorite Bear River sports, as well as local government and community events. Stay in the know with this digital news company so you don't miss out. The Valley Headliner, striving to become your number one news source. Reserve the Pie Dumps back room for any occasion, day or night. Whether it's for a birthday party, wedding celebration, or your weekly meetings, they've got you covered. There's plenty of room, and if you want, they can cater your special event, or you can simply order off the menu. Welcome back here to Ridgeline High School. And like you said, Amy's showing you why they're number one. Oh, in yeah. 4 Yeah, they have so much talent over there. Uh, looking good. They have they went deep the last few years at state. So the, the fact that they're ranked number one doesn't surprise me at all. They should be a fun team to watch. The River Rocks will start with the serve, and it will be the Muni. Bear River with the same lineup. Dally Adams, Christensen on the front row. Miller with the pass. Adams goes out to Dally. And great block. Looks like it came mostly off number 35, Ellie Holland. So River Hawks up by one. Mooney again with the serve. And Bears struggling with the serve receive. That will bring in number seven, Avery Cazell. She'll check in on the back row. So Cazell, Bird, and Noble. Good pass by Bird. Dally takes her time, gets on top of it, puts that ball down. Brianna Curtis checking back in for the front row. Bears trail by one. Sophomore Maddie Bird back for the serve. Demuni goes to Putnam. Bears get it up. Again out to Dally. Off the net. Looking for that sharp angle. Ridgeline picks it up. And Demuni sees a hole over there and puts it right in it. So good to heads up play by number three. Nia Demuni. Putnam back with the serve. Back row hit coming from Noble. And she's able to find that just inside. That's, I think, where they've been aiming for tonight. And good job by Brindley Noble getting it done. So three to two. Sophomore Sadie Adams back to serve. Dally, Miller, and Christensen front row. And that serve goes long. Mira Smolum check it back in for the front row. And number five, Libby Davies back to serve. Yeah. 
Free ball sent over by the Bears. Rich Lyon goes back door to Ava Wilcox and good read by Christensen and Dally. That goes straight down. You know, if you can pick, I think that's where you want to do it. They reverse the call. I give it back to Ridge Line. That's unfortunate. Somebody must have been in the net. And Bears aren't able to quite get that over. Davies again with the serve. A little tight to the net. Too tight. Those are hard. I, we kind of talked about that last time. Uh, digging them out of the net is, there's lots of drills that you do for that, and it's just tough. So 7-2, again, Davies off the net. Bears send it right back over. Demuni pushes it outside. And this time, Brooklyn Bishop's not able to clear the net. Junior Kate Daly back to serve for Bear River. Ava Wilcox tips it. Brinley Noble catches a little bit of it and goes out of bounds. So Wilcox again with the serve. Miller with an off the net hit. Mooney, also a back row hit coming from Putnam. Bearver keeps it alive with the free ball sent over. Dimuni goes to the back door. Another kind of a swing play from Mira. Back row hit by Daly. Back door to Miller. Oh, and it goes just a little bit too deep. She was back for her approach, and she just needed to back up one more step uh, to adjust to that. Wilcox with the serve. Back row to Dally. Uh, off Davies, out of bounds. Dally doing a, a better job getting on top of the ball. So nine to four. Again, Ridgeline with the lead. And it looks like we have senior Brianna Curtis back for the serve. Brianna Curtis, service. Noble Christensen and Miller front row for the Bears. Good serve. That's down the line. Bears have been looking for that line all night and we've been able to hit it a couple times in this set, so that's nice. Curtis again with the serve. Back row hit coming from Ridgeline. Adams goes out to Noble. She's off the blockers. Out to Bishop. A tip coming over. Good read. Good set. Noble with an adjustment. Ridgeline again going to number 40, Mira. Bears keep that free ball alive. Back row hit from Ridgeline. Adams does a short two out to Miller. Ridgeline keeping that hit alive. But an off the hit, off the net hit from Putnam will end that rally. And again, Ridgeline with the point. So 10-5 and number 30, Gracie Cole checking in. Good battle by both teams. Yeah, that was a good rally. Free ball sent over by the Bears. Out to Putnam. Miller just sends it back. Ooh. Good hit from Ridgeline, sent back by Bear River. Oh. And again, number 40, Mira. She's hit that sharp angle and that is a tough one even on good coverage that was um, a lot of net play yeah a lot of little tip tip dink dink but again Ridgeline comes out on top 
up to Christensen. And not able to make that happen. So Gracie Cole still serving for the Riverhawks. Adams with a little tip over. Hmm. And again, send it back to Mira. And Mira has been on fire all night. The timing between her and Mooney is spot on, and she's just right on top of the ball. That's super hard to defend. Adams again goes to Miller, and she comes back nice and hard right in between the blockers. So 13-6, and Miller will go back to serve. Mooney out to Putnam. Good dig by Bird. Nice hit by Dally. Putnam again, and she's got that sharp angle. Putnam has found her spot, and she's very consistent. 14-6. Mira off the front row with a nice serve for the Riverhawks. Free ball sent over by the Bears. Tight to the net. You know, she didn't have a lot of choice but to kind of tip it over. And again, finds a little spot on the line. The so. Lady Bears will call it time now, 15 to six. They haven't been able to score any more than six here on Ridgeline. We'll see if they can get it done when we come back. In the mood for a burger and fries? Look no further than the grill. They have plenty of mouth-watering options for everyone. Stop by for lunch or dinner and complete the meal with a tasty dessert. Lincoln Financial specializes in estate, investment, and retirement planning, as well as business benefits. At Lincoln, they are totally impartial, comb through different options to create financial products a person needs. Lincoln Financial, big city service, small town care. Let Academy Mortgage help you get into the home of your dreams. Give them a call today. Welcome you back here to Ridgeline. Still with the service of Ridgeline. Number 40, Mira Smullen with the serve. Back row hit by Miller. Out to Putnam. Bird had a pretty good read on it. Just wasn't able to get it up. Bears trail by 10. Mira continues with the serve. Noble with a hit. Demuni out to Putnam and she just puts it down. We've seen a sharp angle. We've seen down the line. A good hit by Putnam. Seventeen six. Back row hit by Kate. And Mooney gives it to Holland. And she's able to get it between the blockers and in bear territory. Mira still serving. Miller with the pass and the back row hit. Out to Putnam. Good read by Bird. Noble hits it off the blockers. Just a little tip in there to Holland. Bears able to keep it alive. Good hit. Oh, and that comes down the Bear territory. seen a little more spark, a little more determination coming from the Bears this set. Number 40, Maris Smolin, still serving for the Riverhawks. Well, 
miscommunication there gets the ace of the rich line. Riverhawks with a commanding lead. Tight to the net. And Holland plays that nicely. Those again are tough because we're back and not up to the net. There's catch a break right there. And Brindley Noble, senior outside hitter, back in the service area for Bear River. Outside to Putnam, and she goes long. So another break for the Bears. 21-8. Free ball sent over by Richline. Sadie keeps it close to the net. Richline has a great read on that defensively. And falls in bear territory. Richline keeping their starters in for the entire, <laughs> entire entity of all three sets. Bears again struggling on serve receive. Twenty-three eight, Demuni to serve. Out to Dally. Demuni goes to Putnam. Free ball sent over. Again, out to Putnam. Bears hustle, but can't get there. Too far out of bounds. And before and game point, the Lady Bears will call a timeout, see if they can get some last inch effort here. It's 24 to 8. We'll be right back. Serving into the net. Another break for the Bears. 24 9. Bears have to be perfect from here on out to stay in it. Sophomore Maddie Bird with the serve. Demuni goes back door. Great block. Kate Daly and Brianna Curtis read that very nicely. 24-10. Maddie Bird again with the serve. Demuni will go back. Another great lead from Holland. Another good block here for the Lady Bears. Late rally. Yes. Yeah, they've got a long way to go, but it can be done. Maddie Bird, another good serve. And Bears, or excuse me, Ridgeline cannot keep that up. So Bears looking pretty intense, pretty excited. 24-12. Another good serve by Bird. Tip sent over by Wilcox. Adams goes out to Dally. And a good blocking read by Ridgeline. So unfortunately, the Bears go down 25-12. That is their best set of the night. Or excuse me, 25-12. One more CNR replay for this evening is the Riverhawks. 
sweep the Lady Bears, three sets to none. And I mean, that's when you get a team firing on all the cylinders. And Lady Bears want to just make this one go away. Bridge Lion came out on fire. They really did. Um, and they are stacked. You know, they are, they're going to go deep, as we mentioned earlier in the state finals. The Bear came out a little bit timid. Um, it took us till the third set to kind of just get fired up and to get excited to see a little more movement out there. Uh, unfortunately, a little bit too late. Yeah, so, like, like you said, it was we were trying to hit the angles and it was going out of bounds. We were trying to go for the kills, but they just go long. Yeah, we started off a little flat, just not getting on top of the ball. I, I didn't see a lot of foot movement out there, but. Like I said, I think they kind of got things uh, a little more spark in them in the third set there. But again, a little too late. Well, we'd like to thank our sponsors for making this possible. So for homecoming week, we're going to live stream the Powder Puff game tomorrow. And I've heard both times. I've heard it going to be at 7. I heard it going to be at 6. Just tune in and we'll have it. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's always a fun time. And I've also heard it could be at the high school on the turf or it could be on the soccer field at the natatorium. Either way, tune in. We'll have it for you. How exciting, yes. And it's thanks to these sponsors right here. The Pytum, Lincoln Financial, Academy Mortgage, Tanglewood Studios, Cobalt Banker, Our Trailer Sales, West Liberty Foods, American Secured Title, Soda Fix, Chain Share, Sod Farms, Utah State University, Grizzly Best Hardware, Kids Market, Frank May Skidoo, Entertain Polymer Group, The Valley Headliner, The Grill and Cover Up. And the reason why we can bring you the most Bear for Sports coverage. Absolutely. I love seeing all the different sports. Um, I think it's great, including stuff extras like powder puff and and things like that. So, yes, thank your sponsors. Go in and tell them thank you that you heard it on BR Live and you're grateful that they're doing it. Well, Amy, next up, like I said, powder puff. Then we will have Lady Bear Soccer. They will host Logan, and that should be on the turf. And then football will break in the turf on Friday night as they host Logan as well. Mm -hmm. Still looking for region win number one and no better time than on homecoming, right? Absolutely. That's always a fun game. So I expect nothing short of that this Friday. All right. We'll see you tomorrow night for a little powder puff. Your final in this one, the River Hawks get it in three. And you've been watching Bear Live. Thank <laughs> you.